The people in St. John have realized that they made a mistake in the last election. And you know what? Having spoken to some of them, they are ready. They are ready and willing to correct that mistake that they made last time. They what? Fool me once. Fool me once. Shame on you. But if you fool me twice... The shame is on me. And you, the good people of St. John, would not stand up and be called and be made shame again. You were fooled. You were tricked. The people on the other side are very good at telling you what they think you want to hear. I will repeat it. The people on the other side are very good at telling you what they think you want to hear. Speaking on this platform as the nominated candidate for the Democratic Labour Party in the next general election on the 19th of January. I, this to me is, a, is a, the first step in a race that will be victorious for the Democratic Labour Party and the people of St. John. Because the Democratic Labour Party will be coming out in their numbers and the people of St. John will be coming out in their numbers because they want true representation. They want strong representation. They want a representative who is approachable and a representative who is willing to go out there and fight in the interest of his constituents and also the people of Barbados. We have a job to do. We have to reclaim St. John for the DLP and we also have to make sure that the Democratic Labour Party has a voice in Parliament because we cannot deal with this 30-0. We cannot deal with a government that is doing as it like. It needs to have a strong opposition to keep things happening in this country. A year ago, a little bit more, November of 2020, we were told that the nurses were critical in Barbados. And we were asked to stand up and clap. And they got a shiny glow in the dark, one dollar coin. And 12 months later, the Prime Minister could be telling off the nurses and docking their pay and we hear freezing their monies and treating our people like dirt three whole years of disrespect for our people but the best christmas gift ever when elections were called on that bank holiday we suffered too for the last three and a half years we will make the most of this opportunity on the 19th of january to create history in barbados you want a legacy the first one-term government that is the legacy that we intend to give to this outgoing government